Do you struggle coming up with poses for your engagement sessions? Let me show you how. All right, what's up everybody? My name is Sal Sincata. Today we're in Nashville. We're shooting an engagement couple and I wanna be able to show you how to quickly and easily navigate through poses. Everybody struggles posing couples, getting them to feel comfortable, getting them to look comfortable, especially for people who don't necessarily like having their picture taken. But I find that with posing, you start building confidence as you go through the process, right? So start off slow with your couples, make them do things that feel natural. Don't start putting them in awkward or maybe awkward is the wrong word, more complicated poses. Start simple and then build from there. And then it just lets baseline some stuff. For men, keep their poses masculine. As a man myself, I don't wanna feel feminine or curvy or any of those things. I want those kind of Hollywood, cinematic, heroic poses uh, where I look good, but I also have to compliment, right, the person you're posing me with. And so that's where I like to mix this up. So if you're posing uh, a female with a male, that female keep her poses feminine uh, so that they match one another, right? Juxtapose, the opposites, that kind of stuff. Uh, and so keep the man, a little bit more masculine, keep the female a little bit more feminine, and then as you're working, they'll meet, right? We don't want hard and soft right next to each other. We wanna be able to complement them. And remember, at the end of the day, we need to show connection. That's also very important, right? Because they're in love. There's nothing worse than having two people pose together who don't feel or look like they're in love, like they hate each other. And we've all seen pictures like that. Um, and expression is something else, right? So I wanna lay down baselines that should be in the back of your head when you go on any of these shoots. Um, poses, we wanna keep them the way I just said. Expression, have them match, meaning if one of them is strong, right? Firm look, um, mean mugging, badass, and sassy for the women, uh, then the other should match that expression, right? They gotta match each other's energy. If one's smiling, the other should be smiling. What you don't want is one person smiling, the other person not smiling. That, it just doesn't match up. When they see their pictures, they're not gonna like it. So keep expression uh, to, to match there. The next tip I wanna give you is mix up focal length, right? So if you're shooting with a prime or a telezoom lens, uh, or whether you just have to move your feet back and forth, what you don't wanna do is get locked into uh, both an orientation, right? Vertical or horizontal, uh, or a focal length right so if you've got a 50 millimeter or in here I'm shooting with a Canon RF 2870 I wouldn't want to shoot everything at 70 I wouldn't want to shoot everything at 28 I'd want to mix that up so that when they're looking at their pictures there appears to be variety right I want a tight shot of each of them uh, I want a mid shot of them and then I want a wide shot where we can show the architecture now I will tell you before we get shooting because you probably like Sal just shoot show me what you're doing uh, so we are here downtown Nashville we're at the War Memorial. They've got these beautiful columns that I want to showcase in my picture, uh, but that's going to require a wider focal length. Well, that's great when you're going to show your clients large prints, but we also need tighter portraits uh, to show the intimacy. So I'm going to start with 2870, probably going to use my 7200 as well, uh, and then just go from there. So watch how I talk to them, watch how I coach them, watch the details I'm paying attention to uh, to get them to look the way I need them to look, and then you let me know what you think down below. All right, let's get to it. All right, you two, you ready? All right, so Corinne, uh, yeah, so this is very important. So for Corinne, she's got a part on her, uh, my camera left, her right. So Corinne, do me a favor, just look this way. Hey, Corinne. See, I pointed this way to help you make it easier so you knew which way to look. Yeah, it did, I saw that. No, she looked that way, dude. I, I don't know how to coach you on this, but I said, look this way, she went that way. It's going to be a long day, Corinne. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. I didn't even say left, right. I just said this way. All right. Anyway, we're giving her a hard time. Corinne, look this way for me. So when she's looking that way, I know it's hard for you to see, but when she's looking this way, the part is cutting into her face, and that's not going to be what she wants. So I always shoot into the part. So we're going to switch them. Corinne, go to the other side. There you go. Josh, come to this side. Now you can see Corinne, uh, that part, look towards Josh, and now we can see more of her face. So we don't want to block out her face. That's something you have complete control over as a photographer before you start shooting. So you can make that uh, decision. All right, so now what I want the two of you to do, we're going to start off with a simple pose. I want you holding all four hands, okay? Face each other. Now, symmetry here. Josh, I want you to back up just a baby step. Perfect. Corinne, perfect. You can see in this pose, uh, and Alyssa, I'm going to have you get in there a little bit closer. You can see in this pose, there's tremendous distance. So I'm gonna pose them while you guys are watching. 
Uh, if I leave them there, they don't really look like they're too much in love. So now let's get our belly buttons together. There we go. Now there's, they're too compressed, right? And they just look like they're sniffing each other, right? So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta yeah, how's he smell? Is it good? All right, well, that's all that matters. He, he cleans up well. Thank you for showering, Josh. All right, so now let's start working on body parts. I'm gonna start, I like to start with the feet. So Corinne, uh, I want you to pull that right foot back, okay? But lean into him with your belly. Look at me with my feet, Corinne. I want that foot dangling, yes, okay? So now I've got her lower body. Josh is standing perfectly, hands are perfect. Now we're gonna work our way up the bodies, okay? Now, Corinne, you see that hair cutting her off on her camera shoulder? Kick that hair off, oh, much better. Now she's breathing on camera. That's one of my biggest pet peeves uh, when it comes to photography is when you leave that hair in there and you're choking them out. Now, when she looks at camera, I've got a beautiful view of her face and not this kind of like scarf choking her out, right? Josh, your hair is perfect as always, my friend. All right, now I want you looking at each other. Okay, beautiful, get a little bit closer in the face. So now if I wanna, if I wanna make this a little bit nicer, Corinne, take that left hand, put it around Josh's neck. I love that. Now we see the engagement ring. Josh, take that right hand, put it around her waist, which I'm assuming it is. Uh, and Corinne, is he grabbing your ass? Okay, that's fine. You know, this is a family video, Josh, but it's fine. Okay, so Corinne, looking at Josh one more time. There is a curl coming right out from under your uh, chin. Can you just brush that curl, Corinne? No, 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 uh, on the other side, yeah. Just one of your curls. There we go. Let me see, now. Looking at Josh, perfect. Look at each other, good. Get a little bit closer. There you go. So guys, that's gonna be my first pose and bring that camera back to me. So you guys hang tight there, don't move. Uh, so that's gonna be my first pose as I start shooting them. And because I'm shooting up at them at an angle, I wanna get a little bit further away, mitigate that angle. Uh, and now, actually as I'm back here, I see more of that hair. Corinne, that hair on your left shoulder, kick it all back for me. Yep, much better. Looking at each other one more time. Hang tight for me, don't move. So the reason I take so much time up front is to get everything perfect, then start shooting, right? So I'll spend, I find that if I spend just three minutes, it didn't take much longer than that, coach them through everything, explain everything to them, that when I finally get to shooting, everything starts going smoother. So now that I've got pose number one set, watch how many different looks I can get out of this without even moving them. So let's go. All right, guys, I want you looking at each other. Perfect, let me get a test shot here. Make sure I like it. Test shot, uh, hold on. Love that guy, stay there with it. Go forehead to forehead. Good, soft kiss, little church kiss. Pick a side, love that. Good job. Now both of you looking at me. Yep, yep, Josh, lean into her just a little bit. Get, get your temples almost touching. I love that, Josh. Push your chin a little bit more left so I see that right eye. Perfect, brother. Here we go, looking at me, good smiles, one, two. And Josh, is it too bright back behind me? Is that making you squint a little? Yeah, yeah. Um, so what I want you to do, a little trick here for them, is close your eyes. Close, close your eyes, and I'm gonna give you a three count, and then I'll start shooting. So I'll go one, two, three, make sure your expression's right, make sure you're not squinting too much. It's perfect, man. This is also a good trick to, when your couples are looking, because back behind is super bright, they're in open shade. Uh, just have them close their eyes, relax their forehead, because you don't want them all like this. It's not, it's not a good look. Uh, so you want them to relax their face, relax their eyebrows, uh, get into an expression, give them a three count. One, two, three, pop, 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 take that picture. So it'll look uh, much better. All good, all good, thank you. All right, here we go, guys. Close your eyes, get ready if you can. One, two, three. Perfect, no smile now from both of you. One, two, three. Perfect, stay there. Awesome guys, hang tight. One, two, three. Last series here. One. One, two, three. Smiling, smiling, both of you. Looking at each other again. Get a little bit closer in the foreheads. Soft church kiss. Perfect. Take two seconds, you can relax. Two seconds, don't disappear from there. So let me talk over here. Thank you guys. All right, so something to think about there. Whew, 
you know, back like me, holy smokes. All right, so one of the things you notice is how I'm talking to them, how I'm directing them the whole way, did not make them move. Everything I got was with this uh, 2870. So I do need some closer portraits. So you've been seeing these on the screen. So now I'm gonna switch to a 7200 uh, where I can kind of zoom in and get tighter uh, portraits of them. But I'm talking through expression, I'm coaching them on their look, I'm getting them comfortable. So the rest of the shoot just starts moving really, really smooth. And these particular pictures, the, the big ones are the more dramatic cinematic shots that I'm known for, that my couples hire me for. These are the ones they wanna put large in their home, not these tight shots uh, of just their faces. It's just typically not what they want. So let me switch lenses. All right, so now we're gonna jump to pose number two. Uh, we're gonna mix it up. So Josh, I want, but I'm gonna be tighter. So I have my 7,200. Uh, Josh, I want you to go uh, both hands in your pockets. Go for this, cause it's casual. Put your th left thumb in the pocket. I like that, good. Kareem, get in, uh, I want you to grab his right arm. But look at me, I want you to give me a little bit of this as you're holding on to his arm. Hold on with both hands and give me that. I love that, guys. Yeah, I like the left hand up on top of the shoulder too. Corinne, are you even with him? You look further back. Yeah, make sure you come forward. There we go. And Corinne, turn your way, um, Josh, put that right hand around her waist. Maybe that'll be better. Yeah, I like that better. Good, good. Yep, everything looks good. Corinne, flare that elbow for me just a little bit more. Love that, show me some space. Yes, that looks really good, guys. Uh, Corinne, get some of that hair off that front shoulder. Yep, let me see you looking at me. Perfect, looking at Josh. Looking at each other. Perfect. Okay, now stick with me, here we go. Both of you looking at me. No smile for this first set. Here we go, one, two, three. Good, big smiles, both of you. One, Corinne, let that head tilt this way a little. Yeah, and then get that hair off. There you go. Here we go. One, two, three. Looking at each other. Get a little bit closer, Corinne. Love that. Now, what I wanna do, since you're looking at each other, I wanna show more connection. Corinne, take that right hand, put it around his neck or his chin like you're pulling him in for a kiss. Yes, Josh, that left hand, put it on her waist. Softly, pull it back just a little, right there. And push it forward a little. And Corinne, turn your belly button into him. Into him, yes. So, just so you guys know what I was looking at there, when she had her belly button towards me and then his hand was on her belly, we went maternity. You as the photographer, by that pose, right? You're making her look bad. So you gotta pay attention to that detail as you go. All right, here we go. Good, love that. Uh, Corinne, kick that right leg back just a little if you can. Yeah, there we go. Good, pull in. Josh, do me a favor, left hand, just push your shirt down in the front, in the front. There you go. There we go, good. Pull in, almost for a kiss. Corinne, let that hand go down just a little so we see Josh's face, there we go. Can't always be about you, Corinne, okay? There you go. Almost kiss. Love that, stay there with it. Soft kiss. Both of you looking at me one more time. Big smile, uh, go back to your original pose. There we go, there we go. Flare that elbow for me a little bit. There we go, good smiles, one, two. No smiling, one, two. Perfect, okay? So now we were able to get, without moving them from that location, uh, a ton of different shots, expressions, looks. Now I'm gonna move closer, now I'm gonna switch it up. So let's just go, let's keep moving the momentum. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is, Josh, I wanna have yeah. you here, okay. shoulder blades back, and you're just leaning back that way. Okay. Uh, so something else to keep in mind, uh, since this is a round pole, Josh, start rotating around that pole, like keep going around, around, around. So what ends up happening is if I put him on the wrong side of this pole compared to camera, I start blocking him out, right? And then I'm getting, I don't get his face and I need his face in this shot. So what I want, because we're gonna put Corinne chest to chest with him, so I like this pose as well. So I'm gonna have Josh here, there we go. So now he's, I see side of his face at camera when he's looking at uh, Corinne. So Corinne, what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go in. Now this time we do have your part there. So we have to be conscious of keeping it off your eye. Okay, there we go. And so let's, let's just start with, right, jo Josh, uh, Corinne, back off for one second. So for Josh, I'm gonna have him lean against that wall. He's gonna spread his stance so that she can come into it. If his legs are tight like this, doesn't look good. Um, she can't, she has no place to get in there. So he's gotta widen his base uh, for her to come in. 
when she comes in, right, she's gonna come in belly button here, right? We don't want distance. So when there's distance in here, to me, we lose a big part of connection. Uh, but we also wanna make sure, right, if you've got a heavier couple or something like that, we don't want belly to belly. So you have to be conscious of their body types. Uh, so she's gonna come in uh, waist, uh, belly button to belly button, and then we get down into the legs, right? So we can go one of two ways. She's got her knee forward, which if she if she were heavier, well, you're in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> you do anything she don't like, Josh. Know, right. She's better, better. she's got you. Behave the jewels. Yeah. Um, if it were a heavier couple, uh, she would be making herself look a little heavy because she's creating. If you look at me from the side, when she does this, she's making both pieces thick. look like one thick. But when she goes like this, it ends up thinning out. So let's show this angle here. So you can see this. All right, so go ahead, pull that knee up. You see how this whole area becomes one block of black? Again, this is one of those things as a photographer, you season the taste. So I'm not gonna tell you this is wrong, it just has to look right. And for them right now, it looks okay. But we can all agree that when she pulls that left leg back, because of this separation here, we now have a clear body line for Josh and clear body line uh, for Corinne. And I think that's really important for the shot. Now let me see you looking at each other. So I wanna show this one other thing. Again, we're working on posing and the details matter. So flip around here. This is beautiful, right? Their connection is beautiful. Them looking at each other is beautiful. But over here, it just feels empty. Is it a good shot? You could take this shot, it's a good shot. Nobody's gonna complain. But if you're constantly thinking about how do I make it better, take that, left, that right hand and put it here, okay? Now there's a little more connection in there because now we can at least see she's got a secondary arm, okay? Again, these are little details uh, that I think matter. Sometimes you're not gonna see every detail, but that's what this video is about. All right, so let's shoot this a little bit. And I'm gonna pick an angle where I can use these columns to my advantage. And I'm gonna do a few different things here. I'm gonna shoot at a really shallow depth of field. Okay, hang tight. There we go, looking at each other, smiling, love this. Get a little bit closer, guys. Yes. So something else to explain to your couples, sorry, I'm talking too much. Something else to explain to your couples is they cannot see each other. You should not expect them to get this close to the camera and be able to see each other. They're gonna go blurry, right? So you guys are not gonna be able to visualize. Don't try, don't pull back, don't give yourself a double chin. So just let your vision go blurry, get a little bit closer, okay? There we go, that looks beautiful, guys. And that's what I'm talking about when it comes to connection and intimacy. Beautiful. Now we start mixing up the posing just from here. So watch this, Corinne looking at me. Yes, lean the top of your head into him. Josh, you're still looking at her right there. Yep, good. Now I can take this shot. She's shooting a great look to the camera and I'm gonna move in to get closer. So here we go, one, two. Love that big giggle. There you go, love that, Corinne. Looking at each other, love that soft kiss. Love that, guys. Good. Josh, you're looking at me now. Yep. And Corinne, what if that left hand comes up right around his chin a little? Oh, on his chest, his chest. That looks really good. Josh, push that chin this way a little bit. Yep, but let the top of your head come this way. Yes, but push, twist. Yes, that's where I need you. He's got it. Good. Now, Corinne, I want you to get into him a little bit closer. Yes, right there. Love that. Close your eyes, Corinne. Love that. Beautiful. Don't move. And sometimes you got to get in there and get the details right. So her bang is separating just a little. Yeah, can you get that? I was trying to do it, but I wasn't doing a good job. Let the pro, the pro in there. Listen, what's your technique? <laughs> All right, good, I'm in here super tight. Make sure your focus point is on, on uh, Josh. Beautiful, guys. And now we're just moving through this. Now, Corinne, open your eyes. Love that, love that. Good, Josh, looking off that way. Yep, more, more, more. Turn that chin more right. Love where your face is. Get this camera on Josh for a second. Focus on him. Come to my angle here, where, where I'm at. Okay, so Josh, keep your face there. You see how much of the white of Josh's eyes we're seeing? Stay wherever you were looking first. More right. Yes. See him? Stay there. Okay. <laughs> see the white of his eyes? That's no good, okay? And the reason is, is because he's looking too far away. We want to see more of his uh, pupil. So what I would tell him is pick a spot a little bit more left. More left. More left, right there. So now we're seeing more of his eyeball. Hopefully that's coming through on camera. Uh, Corinne, I want you to bring your face forward, right? More, more forward. There we go, good. Because I want them on that same focal plane so they're both in focus. And both of you are looking away. Beautiful, 
One, two. Love this, guys. Oh, this looks so good. Here we go, one, two. Stay there. Love this. Stay there. Keep looking at what you're looking at. Now I just need a super wide shot here. I'm at 28.70. I could go a little wider, but I'm gonna stay here with the 28.70. Looking at each other again. I uh, love this, guys. A little bit closer. Corinne, cheat your face left a little. There you go. And a kiss. Perfect. <laughs> what do you do? You give you know, a little... We were both going like, which way? Who's got the side? You got, look, one of the biggest challenges for your clients is to figure out who goes to what side for the kiss, because they can't both go this way or both go this way. It's never, it's never good. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this video. It's just a down and dirty. Hopefully it's helped you uh, understand how to pose couples, work with them. Let me know in the comments which one you like the best, but hopefully you're seeing that you can move quickly with your clients. We didn't have to move them, right? They stayed right here in one spot. I moved my camera, I changed my focal length, I changed all my perspective, changed their expression, and we got some incredible shots. So what did you guys think? It, easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. <laughs> easy peasy lemon squeezy. Moral of this video is Corinne doesn't know how to look that way or that way. She's not real sure which way to go. All right. We'll see you in the next video.